Hey, what's up, everyone? Just want to show you a video. Show you how I installed my steering wheel control on my HHR 2010 LT that did not come with the factory steering wheel control or the Pioneer sub uh, an amp. Um, so, anyways, this is what my stock one looked like. As you can see, it didn't have any buttons. So, I went to the junkyard and I found one with the harness. So I ended up just swapping both of them because they didn't have any wear on the buttons. So I'm guessing it didn't have too many miles. Uh, I got both of these for like 10 bucks. Uh, I decided not to get the different steering wheel. Um, it was leather, but it was worn. But I might go back and get it, I don't know. Anyways, um, let's clear up a few questions that I had. Um, your stock harness is going to look like this. It's going to have this small wire, and that's for the horn. And then it's going, let me shut this door real quick. So it's going to have this wire, which is for the horn, that uh, brown and gray. And this is going to be the one for the left side. So you can see the colors are the same on those. Um, the only difference between these two is that this one is just missing some pins as you can see it's missing whatever four of those are so two uh, uh sorry i got a headlamp on it's hard to go over the uh the phone try to focus on that so it's missing whatever those are as you can see uh, yeah, it's missing quite a bit of them. Try to get a good focus in there. Well, you can't really see it. Um, I'm sorry, I just got a weird text. I don't think it was for me. <laughs> um, Anyways, yeah, so it works. Um, I'll give you a demo, but you'll just have to take my word for it. Um, if you really want to know, if you really want to see it working, I'll, uh, I'll do a video. But anyways, um, so I have a Pioneer 80 PRS, so I just used a blue plug. I didn't connect that wire. I just connected the, uh, the 3.5 to the back of my unit. Uh, I only needed four wires for this main harness. You need the first one, and then you're gonna need the last three, I think. Yeah, okay. Um, so this pink and, I believe that's what it is. No, oh, it's purple with a pink stripe. That is going to go to your, no, that's gonna go to the blue wire, excuse me. And that one looks like that. Uh, yours might be dirty. I scrape it off, it looks blue. Um, it should be. I cut my harnesses off. I just bought one, I don't have it here. Um, it should be on the on the harness, the plug with the black and white, and then the red and white. It should be on the top row, I believe. And let me see. The black and white wire on this one. Is going to go to your ground. As you can see, I got it right there. That's my ground. And what else? Okay. No, no, no. I'm sorry. That's the wrong wire. This one's going to uh, the white and black wire. Your black and white on the Maestro SW unit. Is going to go to the white and black wire and these are easy that's just ignition and ground super simple I'm actually uh you know what I'll just show you guys let's find my keys so first I'm gonna show you guys this one working the new one little focus in there so airbag, coolant, all that. I can't really test these right now, but I can test the bottom ones. 
Yeah, that's all that. And turn the radio on. So you can program these buttons to do anything you want when you flash this. But there is a limit to it, so. Well, I guess you have to assume it, but here. That's the volume down. Um, so for the volume down, I programmed it to mute it if you hold it. And I'll just show you, I'm not touching any buttons. So it mutes. You hold it again, it'll go back to the volume. Um, next track. And then that's reverse track. I got on a random, so it doesn't really go back. It just kind of restarts the song. Then you got your uh, volume up. And then this one, I think, is for the phone, but... If you hold it, it shows you some info. But, uh, yeah, you can program it to do whatever you want. The only thing I don't like is that you can't hold it to have the volume up. So, that's kind of annoying. You're probably still going to want to do that on the uh, head unit itself. But, yeah, if you guys have any questions on how to do any of this, let me know. I'll post another video. It's pretty easy. I didn't think it was going to work first time, but it did. I lucked out. So it's my $10, $10 or $5 uh, steering wheel audio control. I got this for free, I think. I think it's like 60 bucks. So yeah, it's not going to be cheap if you do it. But yeah, hope this helps. And uh, let me know if you need any other videos.